I will now show you how to connect a Mixamo skeleton with Maya's Human IK system to have a fully functional control rig. First things first, in Mixamo, after you've selected an animation, you'll see it playing. We don't want the animation itself for the initial setup. We need the T-Pose. To get that, simply click the X button next to the animation name. So, let's go ahead and download this. Once downloaded, I'll just drag my FBX file directly into the Maya viewport. And there's our character, perfectly in its T-Pose. Next, we'll set up the Human IK. Look for the Human IK button, usually in the top right area of your interface, and click it. This opens the Human IK panel. From here, we want to create character definition. Now, in the outliner, select the main hip joint of your Mixamo rig. With the hip joint selected, go back to the Human IK panel and click the Load Skeleton Definition button. It looks like a little folder with a plus sign. In the Load Skeleton Definition window, make sure the template is set to HIK. For Match Scope, choose Match All Bones with Prefix and ensure the prefix matches your rig's namespace, which is Mixamrig. Here, click OK. You should see the skeleton outline in the Human IK panel turn green. If everything is green, that's a great sign. It means Maya has correctly identified the skeleton structure. Now, let's create the control rig. In the Human IK panel, change the source dropdown from None to Control Rig. And just like that, our control rig is generated. You can test it by selecting one of the controllers, like a wrist, and moving it around. If the controllers look a bit small, that's an easy fix. You can select all the effector controls. Then in the channel box, find the radius attribute. Middle mouse drag on the word radius in the viewport to scale them all up to a more manageable size. You can also adjust them individually if you prefer. Let's look at the human IK solving modes. Right now, it's likely set to full body. This means when you move a controller, the whole body tries to adapt. If you switch this to body part mode, moving an effector will primarily affect that part of the body, giving you more isolated control. Now watch this. If I'm in full body mode and I move, say, this hand, you'll see the other hand and the rest of the body often adjust along with it. To lock a specific part in place while animating others, you can also pin controllers. For example, if I select a hand effector and click the pin translation and pin rotation buttons, that hand will now stay locked in place, even if I move other parts of the body. To release it, just click the pin buttons again. And that's how you get your Mixamo character rigged and ready for animation in Maya using Human IK. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please hit that like button. If you have other topics you'd prefer to see covered, let me know in the comments below. Happy learning!